Look at that, a balloon printer, cool. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of King Print where I cover all things printing. So you're in the market for a new screen press. So anytime you're making a major purchase, you wanna go in with a game plan. So I'm gonna show you what you need to know, what you need to look for, and in my opinion, what the best screen print press is dollar for dollar. Now the first thing you need to ask is what type of printing are you gonna be doing? So we're gonna to go to amazon.com and we're gonna type in screen printing press. So let's start with the lowest price printers. So right off the bat, you have the screen printing hinges here, which are gonna run you about 12 bucks. So if you're looking for something just to start screen printing, you can buy these hinges, attach them to a table or any flat surface, and you're good to go. Throw your screen on there for 12 bucks, you have a screen print press. The next cheapest one is gonna be a single color, single palette press. Now this one right here, you have to remember, and what you have to look at, is that see if i can go in a little bit more these hinges right here they don't come down what i mean is when you bring the screen down this neck right here it's gonna pop right back up so what you have to do is one hand you have to clamp the screen to your palette with the other hand you're gonna have to come through with your squeegee because it's gonna automatically want to go up it's not gonna set down so that's one thing you need to consider when buying one of these cheaper presses here. This press, along with all these on this row right here, they're gonna be the same thing. You have to, you have to actually clamp them down. Another thing with these cheaper presses is that this one right here is a forehead press. And when you have multiple screens on here, especially if you have the wood screens, cause they're a lot heavier, they're gonna hang down. If you have a screen on there with ink and your squeegee, it's gonna be almost laying flat and you're not gonna be able to rotate it that well at all. You're gonna have to go very slow. There's just a lot of different issues with these really weak springs right here. Here's another thing here, like this press here, it doesn't come with a mount or legs. You're actually gonna have to mount this onto an existing table that you already have versus this one here, that actually has the legs on it. This is something that if it's your first press, you're not really thinking of, you're just kind of looking at the price and you might be saying, well, this one's 99 compared to 109, might as well save 10 bucks and go with the $99 one, not knowing that it doesn't have the legs on it. So we're gonna scroll down here. Okay, this press here, it doesn't have springs, but it does have this shock right here. So this shock is gonna actually hold up a lot better versus not having that head held up at all with the springs because the springs are so weak. So now we have for 252, we have a four color press with two pallets on it, which I would definitely not recommend at all unless you're running a multi-person job. If you're running a multi-person job, well, you're gonna make less because now you have to pay somebody else, unless you have your spouse or somebody helping you, right? But the reason I wouldn't recommend these two pallet press the way this is, is because the pallets don't rotate. The pallets are stationary. The heads rotate. You're gonna have to load a shirt on the right side, press it. You're gonna have to walk over to the left side, load a shirt, press it, come back over, if, you, if you're doing a flash, if you're doing a multicolored press, you're gonna have to run the flash. Now you're gonna have to bring your flash dryer all the way back to this side. You might be thinking, well, I can deal with that. But if you're running a 100 shirt job, it's gonna be very time consuming because you're gonna have to be back and forth, not only with the press, but with the flash. So that's something you probably wanna stay away from. For that, I'd probably stay with the one pallet press because you're gonna run a lot less fatigue than with the two pallet stationary press. Look at that, a balloon printer, cool. All right, now we're getting into a four color, one station press with the stand. Now this is okay if you wanna keep your point of entry low cost. I wouldn't recommend this printer for anything else than a beginner. But if you're in it for the long haul, I wouldn't get this printer because the materials that it's made of are very flimsy and I wouldn't trust them at all. Another thing, none of these presses have micro registration. That's something that you're definitely gonna want if you're doing multi-color jobs. It's gonna make setup a lot easier and you're gonna burn through jobs a lot faster. Let's go to a more name brand printer. Now, some of the printers I'd be on the lookout for is gonna be Workhorse, Vastex, and some of the older model Riley Hopkins. Now, the newer ones are okay, but the older ones are gonna be constructed a little bit better. 
Not sure what you need to get started or just want to upgrade your equipment? Be sure and check out my Amazon store for the best deals on print supplies and equipment all in one place. Now this is a Vastex V1000 and this printer is going to run about $5,000. This is a six color, four pallet press. One of the things that I like about these Vastex printers is that they have a rubber pallet mat. And what that rubber pallet mat does is it gives you a little bit more of a smoother print. Yeah, you're gonna have to clean it a little bit more than you would um, a wood pallet, but you're gonna have real high quality looking prints. Also, it's gonna give you a little bit more tack on your t-shirt to your pallet, which means a lot less aerosol in the air that you're breathing. One thing about these Vastex printers that I don't like is that the pallet locks. What I mean by that is every time you swing the pallet carousel for another color, it's gonna lock. So you have your screen here, you have your pallet here, you give it your color, you swing the pallet over for your next color, it's gonna come through and it's gonna lock in the same spot every time. So sometimes I like printing off to my right, off to my left, depending on where the fan is. I print out the garage, so sometimes it's colder, it's hotter, I wanna be in a certain spot so I can move. And I got used to printing on my Riley Hopkins, so it doesn't lock. It The carousel moves freely. So I can be at any position and not have it lock on me. So in order to do this with the Vastex, you're gonna actually have to move the whole press every time you wanna move position that you're printing in. So I know that's just a small thing, but that's just one thing to consider when buying your printer. Now these Vastex printers have micro registration. Also, they are upgradable. So you can take the pallets off and they do sell the oversized screen palettes. So if you want to print an all over shirts, you can definitely do that with the upgraded palettes. This press here is a four pallet press, which you can also upgrade to a six pallet press. Once you get more into printing, you get more orders, you can upgrade. Look at this. There's even an attachment for a numbering kit, which is pretty cool because if you do any type of athletic jerseys, you know that Thermoflex or heat transfer vinyl can get pretty expensive. Using this numbering kit, you're gonna save a lot of time and a lot of money. So we're here at the next press, which is a Workhorse Odyssey four color, four station press. Now this press here is one of the better built presses out there. Some of the features of this press are gonna be micro registration, the honeycomb turret design, the capture fork and bearing registration system, extended center shaft, covered spring cartridge, and the quick release rubber coated aluminum pallets. Now this press here runs $4,000 and you can't go wrong with this press. And there are also different models of this press. If you wanna go with the cheapest one, it'd be the workhorse, one color, one station press. And this one runs 650, which has the same build quality as a $4,000 four color forehead press. But the one thing you do notice here is that you actually have to mount it to an existing table. It doesn't have legs on it. And we go all the way to the $8,000 eight color, eight station press. All right, so now we're at the Riley Hopkins screen print presses. Now these presses are also high quality presses. So this is from screenprinting.com. Now this is uh, the Riley Hopkins one color, one station press. The one thing I don't like about this press is if you can see up here, the clamp, it just has two little, which looks like washer clamps, which is also what the cheaper Amazon presses have, which I don't like. The higher quality printers, presses, they have a long bar right here that clamps onto the whole screen. The springs are good, the springs are heavy duty, everything's made with aluminum. So the cheapest standalone one is a six color four station press with micro registration. This head has a better clamp than the one color one station press. It has a good off contact right here in the arm. Another thing I see here, which is also nice, is it has these little bearings here, which a lot of the other presses have rubber screw bushings which wear out so this is a nice thing to have because these are never going to go bad on you this press is a little bit on the higher side versus the workhorse the same six color four station so weighing my options and i had to choose a printer i choose the workhorse six color four pallet press because for four thousand dollars you get a great printer with a great build with great name recognition micro registration, great print quality, and all the bells and whistles. A close second would be the Riley Hopkins, but you're looking at about twelve dollars to $1,500 more for a printer with more or less the same specs. All right, so let's go for some bonus equipment. So let's check it out. The website's called thorntonequipment.com. 
They sell new but mostly used screen print equipment. The inventory changes because it is used. So let's check out some of the stuff they do have for sale right now. So we're gonna go to this brown screen print press. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I would say eight, eight color, one, two, three, four, eight color, four station press. What are they asking for? It's a little bit hard to read because of the background on it. It says they want 7,100. Also, this comes with everything. It comes with the washout booth, it comes with screens. It comes with the exposure unit. Can't really read everything it comes with just because of how it looks here, but it's the whole kit for 7,100 bucks, not bad. Now brown, uh, it's an okay screen press, but I mean, for the price, you can't beat that. Now this is a Hicks. The Hicks is an older model. A lot of these you're gonna find, you'll find them on Craigslist, you'll find them on eBay. And a lot of them are older and they're rusted out. I stay away from these. I really would. If you find one in good condition, fine. But a lot of these are going to need a lot of work. How much are they asking for this one? 1600 Yeah, it's too much for that press. So you got a Lawson Mini Trooper, which is an automatic press, which looks like four color, one, two, three, four, four pallet system, 10,000, 10, five, not bad. So you have all this commercial equipment here. 5500 for this huge dryer that's huge you definitely need a uh, commercial space for that dryer so honorable mention where you can find other used screen print equipment commercial screen print equipment is screenprintingproducts.blogspot.com and i do have another video of other websites you can find used screen print equipment that you probably won't find if you just type in used screen print equipment on a google search so i hope this video helped you out if you haven't already please consider subscribing thanks for watching check you on the next one be sure and check out my channel for more helpful screen print videos don't forget to click the link in the description for screen print supplies on sale right now from amazon thanks for watching check you on the next one